A new clinical trial is now set to begin over at Roswell Park that could change the way breast cancer is actually treated. Roswell Park was chosen along with five other cancer centers across the country to administer a new vaccine to patients. Two on your sides, Andy Payton is live at Roswell Park tonight with those details. Andy. Scott and Mary Alice, the median expectancy for someone who's diagnosed with stage four breast cancer is just about five years. And after the first round of trials, 80% of participants far surpassed that. On a Thursday, I would go for, you know, chemotherapy on a Saturday. I was back in Roswell and probably by about noontime on Saturday, um, I was spent for two years it really affects kind of your bones and everything else. This was Kathy Graham's routine after she was diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. I'm just trying to keep my head up, whatever could be difficult at times. But those times could soon be changing. The only side effect patients had was a little bit of injection site pain. Thanks to a team of doctors from Roswell Park and five of the nation's other top cancer centers who are now part of a new clinical trial that would use a vaccine to fight breast cancer. So a patient would and have to do chemotherapy on top of this. Yes, uh, you know, the ultimate goal would be to get rid of toxic treatments and replace it with vaccines, but we'll have to see what the data shows. Originally created at the University of Washington in the early 2000s, the Pink Eraser Project started with 66 women with stage four breast cancer, a cancer with a median survival rate of just five years, and found that after administering the vaccine, 80% of patients were still alive 10 years later. I think this vaccine looks really promising, and we are hoping that if this trial is successful, we are probably headed in that direction towards cure. Dr. Shapra Gandhi is leading the team at Roswell Park. It tells me the vaccine is aimed at eliminating the side effects of treatments like chemotherapy. If we can attain the same efficacy with, you know, while the quality of life is maintained, I think that would be a big win-win for our patient. Patients like Kathy, who now in remission, still think about the potential patients of the next generation. Having two daughters that, you know, what are their risks, um, you know, of, of getting cancer and to have a vaccine that's going to be able to hopefully protect them. Um, you know, I, I think that it's just a, a wonderful medical breakthrough for sure. Now, the vaccine has just entered phase two, and there's no real timetable on how long this could take. But the team here at Roswell Park is optimistic they'll one day get the phase three and soon get FDA approval. Undersigned live at Roswell Park tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News. Encourage